नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट यूनिट नंबर फाइव लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी यूज फॉर डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट नंबर थ्री ऑफ यूनिट नंबर फाइव नाउ लेट एस फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक लैंड यूज प्लानिंग इन डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट बाई प्लानिंग फॉर एंड मैनेजिंग land use we can reduce the vulnerability to disaster if cannot eliminate it iska matlab ye hua ki jo disaster ki vulnerability hai usko agar hum completely eliminate nahi kar sakte to proper land use management karke hum uski effect ko kam to kar hi sakte hain the objective of the land use planning in disaster mitigation is to enable local government to gather and analyze information about the suitability of land and thereby reduce the risk of disaster it also enables policy maker potential investors and community resident to understand the limitations of hazard prone area while land use planning necessary in disaster mitigation it gives community the opportunity to consider community issues in systematic and comprehensive manner the planning process connects rationally between public interest and proposed development plan in process it educates community and stakeholders about disaster and its ill effects land use management for earthquake and flood land use management through zoning and other measures is a common approach for example in flood prone area flood losses could be reduced if instead of keeping flood out of the floods way keeping people out of the floods way by discouraging development in hazardous area फॉर हरिकेन एंड साइक्लॉन्स ये जो अर्थक्वेक और फ्लड का बताया उसमें लैंड यूज मैनेजमेंट में ये हो सकता है कि जहाँ पर कुछ ऐसा एरिया हो कि वहाँ पर बारी बारी अर्थक्वेक आता रहता है तो वो अर्थक्वेक प्रोन एरिया में आ, हमें बिल्डिंग्स नहीं बनानी चाहिए दूसरा कि ये जो फ्लड प्रोन एरिया रहता है जैसे कि बिहार यूपी के कुछ इलाके जो गंगा और दूसरी रिवर के बैंक वाले एरियाज हैं तो वहाँ पर ये करना चाहिए कि जहाँ पर बारी बारी हर साल फ्लड आते रहते हैं तो उस एरिया में बिल्डिंग नहीं बनानी चाहिए या फिर कुछ ऐसे इलाके हैं जहाँ पर ये प्रॉब्लम्स आते रहते हैं तो वहाँ पर जो भी हम बिल्डिंग्स या फिर कुछ कंस्ट्रक्शन करते हैं तो उस इलाके में ये जो कंस्ट्रक्शन बनाते हैं वो ऐसे बनाए कि वो अर्थक्वेक प्रूफ हो या फ्लड प्रूफ हो तो ये कुछ कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस है अर्थक्वेक और फ्लड के वो ध्यान में रख के हमें वहाँ पर एक्टिविटीज करनी चाहिए लैंड यूज मैनेजमेंट फॉर हरिकेन एंड साइक्लोन्स लिमिट इंटेंसिटी ऑफ डेवलपमेंट इन दिस एरिया कंस्ट्रक्शन स्ट्रक्चर्स डेक फ्रॉम दिस सोर लाइन टू मिनिमाइज लॉसेज ड्यू टू इरोजन एलिवेटिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स टू मिनिमाइज द लॉसेज ड्यू टू फ्लड taking steps to tie buildings together and installing hurricane clips to roofs so they are attached to the buildings losses can be reduced by some engineering techniques like constructing high sea walls and dikes to hold back ocean to minimize the erosion then land use management for landslides losses in landslide can be reduced if the area is identified and development and vital construction activity is limited the communities can have strict control on grading of hill slides and require geological studies and mitigation measures whenever development takes place on steep slopes also likelihood of slides can be reduced by appropriate site design measures such as constructing retaining walls drainage system and limitations on watering which may reduce soil bearing capacity 
Once slide has occurred, the corrective engineering measures can be taken which are costly. Land use management for wildfire. Losses of property and homes due to wildfire in urban area has increased in last few years, particularly in US and Australia. Combustible homes coupled with uh, combustible forest and vegetation with uh, suppressed firefighting equipments and low water supply has increased the fire losses. Land use management techniques can be used to minimize the loss due to wildfire by limiting the development in the area. Fire resistant site design, fire retarding exterior building material are required. Adequate water supply for fire suppression must be available. Alternate route available for resident to escape in case of fire event. Then disaster safe design and construction. Introduction. In most of the natural disaster, it is found that the faculty uh, faulty design and poor construction of the structure can cause greater damage than disaster itself. It is necessary to have safe design and construction practice to avoid major casualties. The houses can be designed by architects and structural engineers to be highly disaster resistant under the umbrella of extreme natural disasters normally expected to reoccur in a certain region and for practice purposes the houses may be called disaster proof. This does not mean that they will survive a direct meteor strike or a ground zero atomic bomb but these are unpredictable forces for which appropriate engineering techniques are not yet known. ये जो डिजास्टर से डिजाइन और कंस्ट्रक्शन की बात करते हैं तो उसमें एक ये कॉन्सेप्ट रहता है कि कुछ एक्सपेक्टेशन रहती है जैसे कि हम ये सेफ डिजाइन बनाए बिल्डिंग की तो उसमें ये एक्सपेक्ट हम नहीं करते कि अगर उस पर उस बिल्डिंग पे डायरेक्ट एटॉमिक बॉम्ब गिरे या फिर मटेरियल सावर मतलब कि स्पेस में से सीधा ये उल्का प्रपात जिसे बोलते हैं वो बिल्डिंग पर गिरे तो उस कंडीशन में भी बिल्डिंग सेफ रहे ऐसा एक्सपेक्टेशन नहीं है लेकिन इतना तो एक्सपेक्ट हम करते ही है कि हम जो बिल्डिंग बनाए वो इतनी तो स्ट्रॉन्ग होनी चाहिए कि ये थोड़ा बहुत अर्थक्वेक आए फोर फाइव का जो तीव्रता रहती इंटेंसिटी उसका अगर अर्थक्वेक आता है या फिर थोड़ा बहुत स्पीड फॉर एग्जांपल लेस देन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पर आवर स्पीड का अगर कुछ हवाएं चले तो उसके अगेंस्ट में तो यह सेफ रह नहीं चाहिए तो थोड़ी बहुत तो एक्सपेक्टेशन रहती है हाउ कैन वी मेक बिल्डिंग्स रेजिस्टेंट टू अर्थक्वेक्स विथ अर्थक्वेक इंजीनियरिंग टू बी अर्थक्वेक प्रूफ बिल्डिंग्स स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड दर फाउंडेशन नीड टू बी बिल्ड टू बी रेजिस्टेंस टू साइडवेज लॉर्ड्स द लाइटर द बिल्डिंग इज द लेस द लॉर्ड्स दिस इज पर्टिकुलरली सो वेन द वेट इज हायर अप The walls must not fall apart and must remain in place after the worst shock waves so as to retain strength for the after shocks to protect from earthquakes brace cripple walls use steel framing connections bolt steel plates to the foundation use flexible connections on gas and water lines How can we make buildings and homes resistant to hurricanes? The cladding has to be designed to resist the maximum wind pressure from all directions. The cladding has to be braced or framed to pass all these loads to the ground. A good roof slope will help shed water and can reduce wind forces. The foundations have to be big enough to resist uplift and sideways load. Doors or openings should be kept away from the intense vortex zones. To resist the rain, steeper roof slopes should be used. Gutters should be designed so that they overflow outwards for the full length. Then how can we make buildings and homes resistant to floods? Avoid building in a flood plain 
or in an area that could experience wave action. Locate the furnace, water heater and electrical panel above the flood level. See walls in the basement with waterproofing material. Install a foundation drainage system. Install a sump pump for floors that are below grade. Install backflow valves in sanitary and storm lines. Strengthen walls to withstand flood water pressures. Anchor the building to the foundation so that it will resist flotation. All hardware below the flood entry level should be stainless or galvanized steel. The safest and wisest thing to do when facing a flooded road is simply to find another route. How can we make buildings and homes resistant to tsunami? Mangrove swamps are particularly good at stopping tsunamis. Reefs should be left intact and not destroyed for shipping channels. It is better not to build buildings at low level on the shoreline at the top of a smooth cello beach. It is unlikely that the walls and frames could generally be designed to resist the water pressures in a breaking wave. Buildings should not be closed together in a way that makes a wider dam. It is much better if gaps are left between buildings out through which the water can dissipate. If the soil is sandy, then the footing should be deep and bracing should go right down to the feet. How can we make buildings and homes resistant to cyclone? Install shutters at all windows. In areas prone to hurricanes, have doors facing potential high winds open out rather than in. Reinforce garage doors. Secure siding and roofing. Brace gable and framing. Use steel framing connections. How can we make buildings and homes resistant to fires? Enclose use and overhangs. Cover house vents with a corrosive resistant wire mesh. Install chimney and stove pipe spark arresters. Use fire resistant siding. Use a safety glass and non combustible shutters at windows. Install non combustible roofing. Create an external water storage supply. How can we make buildings and homes resistant to landslide? Install ground cover on slopes. Build retaining walls at slopes. Build deflection walls or channels in potential mud flow areas. Install flexible pipe fittings for gas and water lines. Thank you. Happy learning.